It's time right now for Dirty Dining Grocery Store Edition. And when you go to the grocery store, you probably don't think twice about how cold the lettuce is. Or whether the pork chops you're grabbing were ever stored on the floor. Food safety mm. inspectors think about it, and your neighborhood store could be one of the dirtiest. Your chicken in a separate bag. For Clifton Market on Ludlow Avenue, 2017 is marked as a learning year. The training is there and it's an ongoing thing. The store, which opened in January of 2017, spent most of the year finding their legs, both financially and from a health and food safety standpoint. She's been in three times just to check this area, so to make sure that we're being compliant. So Keith Brock is the Clifton Market general manager, and he's very familiar with the process of food safety inspections. Ours will take anywhere up to four to five hours because of how big we are and all the areas that have to be walked. Last year's violations totaled 47 and ranged from incorrect storage of food to temperature issues and incorrect date markings. The majority of the violations occurring, though, within the first six months of opening. Of extras added. A learning curve of sorts for the new grocery store. Concrete crumbling, those kind of things. We had to fix those kind of things. Other grocery stores found themselves much higher on the list of violations for the year. Sitting at the top spot with 75, Delicious Supermarket on Northland Boulevard. Springdale's health department found sanitary issues with employees and prep areas that included rodent droppings and gnat issues. Also making the top five, the international market on West Wyoming and Lachland. Several packages of food were accessed by rodents, and a live bed bug was found on top of a jar of peanut butter. Further roach activity was found as recent as February of this year. I've even gone into some places where I may have had a past problem just to see, are we having a problem with a roof leak? And if we are, where is it? Is it in a production area? That's caused to close a restaurant or a grocery store. Barry Rice is a City of Cincinnati food and safety inspector with more than four decades under his belt. So a clean slicer is a good thing. A clean slicers, a sanitized slicer is a good thing. He says it's important as a customer to feel like you can speak up if you see something that doesn't seem right. You will see thermometers in cases if you look for them. If there's a question about it, ask, ask the store staff. In fact, customer calls or complaints accounted for 432 additional inspections of restaurants and grocery stores in 2017 and 84 additional inspections already this year. Making the top 10 list of violators, the Oakley Kroger on Marburg Avenue, which was cited for 59 violations. That included issues with cleanliness, open deli meat, food temperatures, and expired baby food. Is that used by date that's critical. Inspector Barry Rice says baby food is one of the areas they closely focus on due to the danger it can pose. If it's past that date, then it should not be used. And if I'm inspecting it, I will instruct the store to remove it. They cut inside coolers. So my meat cutting room is at 32 degrees back there. So it's, it's as cold as the cooler is. So when you're talking about keeping this, this meat cold and the temperature at the right level from the moment you get it in store, mm -hmm. literally you're cutting it up in a cold room to keep that temperature. To keep that temperature there so you're not timing the temperature and abusing it right. at any given time frame. Keith is happy to say the Clifton Market isn't on that top 10 list of violators. In fact, he has some advice for shoppers in any grocery store. They have to be kept at 40 or below. So once in any grocery store, basically, once they've chopped up their watermelon or they've basically made the food more convenient for the mm -hmm. customers. Right. Now it has a shelf life um, much shorter than it was before. Than what it was before, correct. It's the reason that you'll see a lot of the lettuce and stuff going behind closed doors now is because it has to be maintained at 40 or below okay. because it has been cut off the core. If you don't think it looks right, don't buy it. We currently have around 30 inspectors. Antonio Young is the director of the Cincinnati Health Department. Since the year of 2000, we've lost about 40% of our staff. But the workload has surged. He says despite the cuts, food safety from restaurants to grocery stores is a critical priority despite the manpower challenges. We're doing more with less, but we are doing it. Let's take a look at the other grocery stores that make up the list, the top 10 list, including another Kroger location. Head on over to WCPO.com.